Thank you for joining me today on Coffee With. My guest is a very recognizable and friendly face, <laughs> Lenny Wheelis. I don't even know how many times you've been here. Once, twice, a dozen times? This is the, se the second for me. Is that it? Yes. Wow. Um, the first was over in your office. And that was a long, that's when we first started. That was. That was when the people were lined up. Yeah. And it, it was, that yeah. was a year ago. That was a year ago. Because we started last February, didn't we, Chris? We had the first one last March 8th. So tomorrow, as we, you know, will be the first anniversary. Oh, how appropriate. Happy that anniversary. Here. Happy coffee anniversary. Happy coffee. Happy coffee with anniversary. <laughs> coffee with anniversary. Yeah, I've been reading too much Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Making words where there are none. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I could talk right. about Dr. Seuss and that whole thing, but that's old history now. It was um, awesome, though. It was fun. It was so it? much fun. It was great fun. I appreciate you being involved in that. Yes, I would do it any time. It was. You know, we've got 650 books. I I just was telling uh, talking to Linda about the books and how we really want the walk to bring even more, uh, and it motivated us to really get going on. I mean, get, getting a book drive of raising over getting over six hundred books that's just in two weeks. That's that's with impressive. no. This was basically a Facebook event. That's how, that's basically how we did it. That's it's awesome. And and that and like you said, that didn't even include y'all are having a walk on March the seventeenth. That didn't even include what y'all are gonna collect. I'm hoping y'all are gonna take us over the top. Well we had the pressures on, but I've been talking to people and, and I told people if you can even get the books out, I'll come get them at your house. Jay Parmigiani, come show your face over here. Every time we're recording you show up down here. <laughs> are you addicted to caffeine or Come put, your, come put your face in the camera. Yeah, just and stick it out. over. Yeah. We're doing something real important here. What are y'all discussing? The, we're, she's getting ready to talk about comedy. Improv class. Uh -huh. All right. You should be in that. Oh, but I'm in the restaurant business. I know you crack us all up. <laughs> but I'm in the restaurant business. Is he even business. in the camera? There he is. There, there's no time to. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> that was afternoon, funny. <laughs> Morning, afternoon, they all jumble are up. Are you just <laughs> emerging from the restaurant now? I am. Emerging it, and I'm going back to the cave here. For a yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by to say hi. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, moving right along. It's so easy to this, get me distracted. It's improvising. That's it's, right. It's, it's, it's all right here. Hey, that was my bridge. <laughs> okay, you're going to be leading an improv class. Yes. At through, through the Westside so, Theater Foundation. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. Well, I spoke. Jack Burns is the the brain child brain. The brain's behind brain. the, the organ. Yeah, he is the West Side Theater Foundation, and I was asked by a couple of people to come and meet with him about doing something related to comedy, and that was very exciting to me because when <clears> I was in Chicago, I studied improvisation and sketch comedy and stand up, and and I performed a lot. It was a huge part of my life. So to be able no, wait, to what is sketch comedy? Sketch comedy is more along the lines of Saturday Night Live. So you actually write the dialogue and then you perform it, like a little like miniature play. Okay. And improvisation, it goes different ways, but generally the idea is you have a suggestion of some sort and then you literally make up stuff as you go that relates to that suggestion. Um, people are very intimidated by it. Uh, but it can be a lot of fun and very entertaining. Yeah. So and kind of like the um, Drew Carey's. What's my line? Uh, whose line is it anyway? Whose line is it anyway? Is that improv? That is improv, and that's a. I'm glad you mentioned that because some of the things that I'll be doing in the workshop involve the kinds of games that they played and whose line is it anyway. This is going to be a beginner's workshop, so we're just going to start from scratch with the basics. So. There's no experience necessary. It doesn't matter whether you're an actor. I, I, I want people with all different backgrounds to, to feel comfortable doing it because that'll make for such a more rich experience. I think it sounds like fun. No, I, well, now I'm hoping you're going to be doing I'm it. I'm going to be That's there. Okay. I told you I did, um, when I lived in New Orleans, I went and did a, a stand-up comedy class. Stand-up yes. is really hard. People don't know how hard that is. It is brutal. And the only thing harder than doing it is watching someone do it and totally failing at it. It is the most painful thing. I remember this woman was in one of the uh, 
open mic nights that I did. And I was hanging on the edge of my chair, just waiting for something for me to even smile at. So it's... Uh, you were at Second City? I was at Second City. I went through their whole training program, their improvisation, the conservatory, sketch writing. Sta they have stand-up classes there, too, and then a few acting classes. And then another organization called Improv Olympic, which does a long-form improvisation. I thought maybe it was somebody else we could put. We just come in. There's Nancy could come over. Nancy who? Nancy Bell just walked, walked in and out. Yes. Stage fright. Uh, but this long form that you would get one suggestion, one word, and you would do 30 minutes, you would improvise on one word. 30 minutes. It was amazing. But it's a group of people. It's a group of people. Improvisation is very much a team effort. Uh, I've seen people, when, it, when it's about me, 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 and I'm funny, 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 it sort of kills it. So uh, it's really team oriented. It's very supportive. I've known people who said that they learn so much about themselves by improvising and so much about their perceptions and just the way they are in the world. And I'm very excited for people in Vicksburg to, to hopefully, if you don't want to, even if you're not interested in the workshop per se, this is going to lead to some improv shows. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see. So, interest. when does it start? We're so, I'm starting March the 15th. Okay. It's going to be 6.30 to 8. All right. And it's going to be in the choral room at the Vicksburg through West Side. We'll have four weeks of classes. And then there will be, uh, I, I hesitate to say this because I don't want to scare people off, but there will be an optional showcase. If you would like a, gra right? <laughs> a graduation, I will have diplomas in, little, in, in paper that looks like the edges are burnt and then it'll be wrapped up. I might even get some of that wax and there stamp it. So uh, some people can participate in that or not. For your friends and family. Uh, okay. But that's not a reason not to do it. Okay. And what's the cost? It's going to be $12 a class if you pay individually or $40 for all four. Okay. So you get a, a better deal if you do all four. Gotcha. So. Um, there was another question. Yeah, that's for those aggressive people. Thank Man with a walking stick walks right across. This is so gold. Big Star is gold. You cannot make this up. It's very entertaining. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's improv. Yeah. Um, what was I going to ask you? About another comedy? Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. It's something you and I had talked about before. Okay. Um, because I know that people smoke at the core room, but you said there's going to be no smoking. Right. In creating an environment where people feel comfortable, I, I feel that it's important to make that comfortable across the board. So uh, certainly people smoke, and I'm that's that smoke, and that's fine. But it won't it won't be in the room. So if you're a non-smoker, you can still come and yeah. not be affected. Yeah, because you know I was worried about that. Right. Because and I'm glad it you brought gives it up. me a terrible headache. Yes. So. And but people can smoke; they just have to go outside. Right. Right. So, that's, that's a, it's a good point. Well, it sounds like fun. I can't wait. I, I'm so excited. I, I have just this little giddiness about it. And uh, I think it's going to be a positive experience. Uh, and I, I'm so grateful to Jack for letting me do this. Yeah. So. Well, and I also want to say, you know, recently they had their awards. Um, <laughs> And I want to say congratulations because I interviewed you that night on the red carpet. So, congrats, you, you came up and you were prepared to accept your award. And so congratulations on the award that you thought you were getting. <laughs> Even though you... And, and what performances had you been in that you had been None. No, okay. None. Really and I asked you if that was a prerequisite. So, uh, but Robin is going to be great in this class. She's played right into it. Just <laughs> went, went right. It was perfect. I think this is going to be so much fun. Do you, are you expecting... I mean, have you talked to a lot of people that have said, oh, yeah, I'm going to be there? Or do you think it's just going to be you and me? <laughs> Which is what this be would be like right this. here. <laughs> and we think we're funny, but nobody else does. <laughs> I wonder how many people have already hit go on to the next interview or left. Yeah.
I, I've had, a, I've seen, heard a fair amount of interest. Good. Uh, I've had probably five people truly committed. Uh, and I'm hoping that once I get the word out more, that, that more people be interested. I have a limitation of 16 people on the class, but if I have more than that, then I may break it up. I, I'll work with people, but yeah, I, I think, it, I don't know about this first go around. Hopefully people will, will come, but I think if we can get some people to do it, and they can tell other people how much fun it was, yeah, they can feel it. So if it's just you and me, then we'll do coffee with us. <laughs> You know who would be great to have in this, but I know she can't come right now because she's planning her daughter's wedding, which is, is, is in April. Holy oh, oh, thrill. She is, she would be so great at this. She she would be a natural. And her brother is going to do the comedy stuff that we, after we do the improv, we're going to integrate it. We're working towards a stand-up improv melting gotcha. pot deal uh, combination. I didn't know he did stand-up. I don't know that he's officially done it, but yeah. he's looking to. So I would love and to get And that's John No, Will. 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 Yes. Yeah. Is, Okay, I'm having, I'm having name problems today. <laughs> Lynn, Lenny, Rob. Right, Rob, whatever. Yes, so. What else did you want to talk about? Gosh, that's, I've got improv on, my, on the brain. We are doing Reef of Madness. We're, we're starting that on Friday, and that has been really fun. I'm, I'm in the chorus. They asked me if I would be in the chorus, and I said yes. That was before they heard me sing. They may regret that decision. <laughs> Singing and dancing is not what I'm known for. <laughs> well, that should be really interesting. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll get Chris to put something on the screen. Okay. Do you want the, them to contact you directly? Just show up, call. How do people need to sign up for this? Contact me, and I'll have the phone number. I can okay. give it now, or you can say okay. it, and then Chris okay. will put it on the screen. It's 601, because people here say 601. It's the, one of the only area codes. 90 something percent of the people have 601, but they tell you anyway. They're helpful. I do it too. They're helpful. 601-529-1510. That's 601-529-1510. One five one zero. You know that's funny you said that because this morning I called somebody's office and who I needed to speak with wasn't available. So she said, well, let me give me your number. So I said, you know, I didn't give the area code. And she said, is that 601? <laughs> And she knew who it was. I said, hey, it's Robin, blah, blah, blah. And, and she said, well, what's your name? I gave her the office number. And then she said, is that 601? Um, okay, my office is like six blocks from yours. Right. It's so funny. But anyway, it's another little quirky thing about the city that I love. Yeah. So, well, thanks for coming. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. For maybe Chris will come when we, when we have our graduation ceremony. Maybe Chris will come and record it. That would be wonderful. And that would show people yeah. more what, what's going on. Uh, so that would be great. Thanks, Lenny. Thank you. Promotional consideration provided by Amber Sanders from Happy Hair. Get your hair happy at 3402 Wisconsin Avenue.